Welcome to MachineLearningInterview.com. Today, we are going to talk about linear regression as a part of our series on data science interviews decoded. Let's answer the question, explain how linear regression works. Now, we are not just going to give a one-shot answer to this question. In this video, we are going to look at various levels at which we can answer this question to demonstrate how well we understand this topic. First, we will start with what is the basic acceptable response that you can actually give to the interviewer. And gauging the interviewer's interest, I would probably want to write down the objective function for the linear regression. If the interviewer wants me to go on, I could probably talk about the various assumptions underlying linear regression. And if I want to talk more about it, I can actually talk about how to derive a closed form solution for the linear regression problem. Right. So we are going to look at each of these things. And the first answer is maybe like a one minute answer. The next thing would be when I write down the objective function, it would be like a three minute answer. And if I want to go on, I could probably give a slightly longer answer based on the interest of the interviewer. So let's see. This is how I would answer the question. Explain how linear regression works. Linear regression is a machine learning model to predict continuous variables based on uh, a set of features that we have. So it is used when the target variable is continuous. If we take a unidimensional case, for instance, where we have y dependent on a specific value of x, linear regression tries to find the best fit line that passes through all the points that we have as closely as possible. And the way it does it is by trying to minimize the residuals of the points from the line. So I could quickly draw it here. So suppose I have a bunch of points. Linear regression tries to find the best fit line that minimizes the residuals or the y distance of the points from the straight line. Right. So this is a basic answer. How can I show that I understand a bit more? Typically, it would make sense to actually just write down the objective function as well. Write down the objective function for linear regression. So suppose I assume the equation of my line in the univariate case to be y equals mx plus c. So again, I'm trying to find a line. Uh, the unknowns here are m and c. In order to find that, I want to minimize the sum of squares of residuals. So that would be, suppose I have points x1, y1, up till xn, yn. The residuals would be yi minus mxi minus ci. And now I want to minimize the sum of squares of these. This is the expression that I want to minimize in least squares. And what I want to do is find the value of m and c that minimizes the expression. Now what I've written down is for one dimension, but you can actually extend this very easily to the multivariate case. So that's about uh, least squares regression. Now, that was a reasonable answer. But how can I demonstrate my understanding more if the interviewer gives me a cue to go on? What I can talk about is, I can talk about the various assumptions underlying the least squares model or the linear regression model, right? To talk about where it can be applied. Let's talk about that. Let me answer that. The assumptions underlying linear regression are, the first is linearity. 
the target variable needs to be related linearly to the independent variables. The second is that the residuals or the errors we talked about need to be all independent and Gaussian distributed. A probabilistic way of expressing the linear regression problem is to define each data point y at as a linear function of w transpose xi where w is the weight given to each of the features in the data point xi plus some error epsilon i this is the residual we're talking about and epsilon i is coming from a normal distribution in an iid fashion What this uh, implies is uh, two assumptions. One is independence of the errors. And normal distributed errors. So the errors are Gaussian distributed. The third assumption that is typically made uh, is that of there not being multicollinearity. Multicollinearity happens when the features that we have are not linearly independent or some of the features are dependent are a linear combination of other features. When this happens, uh, what would happen is uh, the closed form solution that we have for linear least squares would not work as well. And even if some of the features are not exactly a linear combination of other features, if the features are very highly correlated to each other, then we might end up with an ill-conditioned matrix when we try to uh, evaluate the solution for linear least squares and that might lead to trouble. So we cannot have multicollinearity. These are the assumptions that underlie the linear regression problem. Okay, we answered that. And now suppose the interviewer gives us a cue to go on or maybe asks us, can you actually derive the closed form solution for linear regression? Or even otherwise, if the interviewer is interested, we could go on to derive the closed form solution for the linear regression problem. And this is how we could go about it. What are normal equations? Does linear regression have a closed form solution? I can write down my data matrix. Suppose I have uh, data points uh, x1 through xm. I can write down a data matrix capital X as follows, which is the data set I have. Uh, so x1 1 through x1 m and x n 1 through x n m so i have m features and n data points The superscript is the which feature it is, the dimension, and uh, the subscript is actually which data point it is. Right. So if this is the data matrix, then I can write down the objective function for least squares for the entire data set as follows. Suppose uh, again I'm trying to find y equals w transpose x is the equation that uh, I have and W is what I'm trying to find. W is the unknown, right? So I can write down, uh, so this W could be like the M and C if it were a single univariate case. So I could have Y equals MX plus C, which is W1X plus W2 for instance. So now I can write down the objective function as follows. Y minus X 
W transpose into y minus x w right and I can say uh, now I don't need a sigma here because uh, this is for the entire matrix and I want to find that value of w that minimizes this expression right uh, the way this can be done is to take the derivative with respect to w which is the unknown and equate it to 0 and using some matrix scale uh, calculus we can first let us if we expand this we will get dou by dou w of y transpose y minus y transpose x w minus w transpose x transpose y plus w transpose x transpose x w right this is equated to 0 what we will end up with is uh, 2 into x transpose x w equals 2 into x transpose of y and this is using a uh, standard matrix calculus and if we remove the two and then pre-multiply both sides by x transpose x what we get is w equals x transpose x inverse x transpose y so this is a closed form solution for the least squares problem and this is uh, for a multivariate case. So we just saw how to answer how linear regression works. And we just did not give one answer. We gave first like a one minute answer followed by like a three minute answer where we described what the objective function is. And then we gave a slightly more detailed answer where we talked about the assumptions underlying linear least squares and finally we derived the closed form expression. So when you talk about all these things, it shows that you thoroughly understand linear least squares. But even otherwise, if you at least talk about what linear least squares is and write down the objective function, the interviewer probably knows that you know something about linear least squares. Thank you. I hope this was useful.